tell me about this car because I have all these cars here. This is one of the most engineered I see. Tell me about this car because I have all these cars here. This is one of the most engineered I see. It, so yeah, uh, I got the car right before COVID. Um, my, like I was saying, my wife, she just uh, allowed me to get a project car. And so after doing a little research online, I, I just love the, uh, the history and the, the shape of the car. And so I, I found a guy in North Dakota of all places that was selling it, bought it from him, drove it to San Antonio from uh, Vegas, not North Dakota. How did you do on the drive? It was miserable. It was, uh, the weather stripping was completely deteriorated. All the bushings were gone. The suspension was original. The brakes were original, but you know, obviously updated pads and stuff. So, but uh, the most horrific ride ever. However, it did make it without any issue. So I got, got to San Antonio, uh, car always started up, never overheated. So I was actually in okay shape. Um, and after I got it back to San Antonio, it was a matter of finding a shop that would uh, like to work on it. Luckily, I had a good friend of mine uh, named uh, Austin Sierra at uh, Six Star Auto in San Antonio. He, uh, he had the first go, did a lot of good job or did a lot of work on the car. And, uh, you know, after <laughs> initially I thought I was going to maybe throw in $6,000 into the vehicle. $40,000 later and <laughs> two years, uh -huh. I finally got it to this point. How did um, Mrs. Le she was okay on that? You know, <laughs> I really hit the jackpot with her because she never complained. She My never mentioned, yeah. you know, hey, I can't believe you're spending this much money. So uh, bless her heart. She actually uh, allowed me to go this far. And um, we took it on a road trip up to Denver just last August. It was comfortable in the sense it had AC, but it was miserable in the sense that we got a little sick from the carbon monoxide that was coming in. So after that trip, fixed it. Maybe did a little bit more into the firewall, oh, plugging up the firewall. Absolutely, I had to go bit by bit, you know, hole by hole and just making sure that it was nice and sealed. Floor pans, make sure those were up, those were replaced. Uh, they had a little bit of rust from North Dakota, so. Do you do a lot of your welding? I do not do any welding. I am not that skilled yet. Uh, uh, so I, at one time I'd like to be, but this, so, and the engine on here, yeah, the, the firewall looks really sharp. It looks really clean. Uh, the suspension bits to it, and the, what about this motor? Who built this motor? So the motor is still the factory L28. Uh, it was rebuilt about 20,000 miles before I got my hands on it. However, it wasn't built to for performance. It was just rebuilt, just, a, just like a little maintenance rebuild. Uh -huh. um, it's been perfect since. It's never been overheated. Uh, it's always running. I could race it, you know, take it up to 100 and plus. Uh, it takes a bit to get up there, but it will absolutely get to that point. Uh, the radiator, as you can see, has been replaced with Koyo. Uh, the header's been replaced with uh, MSA ceramic coated. The transmission's been replaced with a five speed from a 1983 ZX. And uh, everything else is kind of stock, you know. So the gearing's pretty nice. Oh, look at those headers, that's nice. The, so anything that came off of the car, I would replace it with a nicer, new, modern piece of technology. So all the suspensions, t techno toy tuning, uh, Techno toy tuning strut bars, everything inside is techno toy tuning. And then of course I got skillered all the way around. Uh, so overall it's a very reliable, comfortable car to drive now. Uh, but of course when I got it, it was not at all. Well, what about the paint and the body work? So I, mean, I see you got a front lip on here and so the wing. All that, uh, that started up about last year. Uh, when I first got the car, again, it came from North Dakota, so it definitely had some rust. It had gone through several versions of painting. The last one, I, I called it the 50 Shades of Black because it was just rattle can spray everywhere and different textures and colors. Uh, so after about a year and a half of owning the car, I decided it was time to give the body and paint uh, some attention. I took it to a guy in San Antonio. He, you know, he did a 
a good job given the condition it was originally in and now it's a matte black, matte black paint with some silver or satin silver vinyl graphics all around. And of course the, the wheels are Rotas, the brakes are upgraded from Toyota. Um, and the interior is all Sparco just because I wanted something a little bit more updated, modern, and it, oh, it just makes sense. Oh, I bet those seats are so much better. And all the carpeting, I know it's, uh, it looks interesting. It's actually just moving blankets from Harbor Freight that I cut and shaped into the car. Oh, really? That is the best idea of carpeting and back panels that I've seen in a long time. It's, uh, I, I've gotten actually a lot more compliments than I thought I would be for moving blankets, but it yeah, just it makes sense. It makes sense. That makes perfect sense. It, it, got, like, it got like that vintage look. It looks, it, it, it looks great. It looks like it, it was meant for it, and that's what I went for it. Yeah, it looks look vintage. Yellowy, Perfecto. Sharp car. Thank you. Thank you very I, much. I love it. I love, I love that we're keeping this alive. And these cars that are being like this, the 240s, 260s, 280s, yes, 300s, yeah. yep. all these cars now are really coming in the limelight. It can be. Yeah. Especially when I'm trying to learn this stuff. Yeah. And I'm failing at it. Yeah. You see those yellow things on that spoiler? That's only for shipping. You can always leave them on the car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's only for shipping. doesn't even want to stand still. It's got so much juice behind it. That's crazy. your hood <laughs> you forgot your hood man it fell off back there huh I love it carbon fiber wheels check that out LS9 stuffed in it sounds rad coming in all set up carbon fiber seats. I'm not sure how comfortable those are, but you gotta pay to play. Good setup, nice ride. Pretty stiff, stiff cage in it too. Neat setup.
yeah. This is my speed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Right? <laughs> well, I'll do my best. Okay, so I'll walk with you. 